Hey everybody, Eric and Katie with Mount Modern Life. And we've recently actually put our RV in storage for the holidays. Uh, but before we did, we realized that the last time we had given a tour that wasn't holiday related was in 2017. Yeah, and a lot has changed since then. Um, but we also realized that we hadn't shared a video with you guys in quite a while because, well, let's just say that 2020 has been pretty crazy. Lots of changes going on and um, which, probably relate. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely relate. <laughs> but um, we're going to be sharing an update video here within the week just to give you some more insight into what we've been up to, what's been going on, why we put the RV in storage and all that good stuff. But until then, we wanted to go ahead and share the tour with you guys so you can see how we've been living in our RV for the last four years. And um, we love our RV. We, I freaking love our tiny home on wheels. So I really hope that you enjoy this tour. Let's get to it. To our tiny home on wheels. I'm gonna start in the cab area of the RV and one of the projects we tackled in here was removing the television that was up front and we actually relocated it to the bedroom but what we did is we created this custom cabinet that has storage behind it and we did that for a couple of reasons. The main one being that we didn't want to watch TV from the sofa and kind of have to turn our necks so that was gonna be kind of awkward and the other is that this cabinet originally came down to about here so it blocked quite a bit of the windshield so by creating this custom cabinet, we have a much better view and we relocated where the actual main television was going to be, which I will show you in a minute. Um, something else that we did was the doghouse or the engine cover over here. It used to be carpeted and kind of like rounded. And so what we did was we built a custom doghouse cover using extra flooring that we had when we did the flooring in the RV. So it's flatter, which is nice and it looks more streamlined and definitely flows with, with the rest of the RV, I think. These captain chairs, this is probably one of the most asked about questions we get in the RV. Um, people want to know where we got the seat covers and they're not seat covers. Uh, what we actually did was we originally painted these and this one is still painted. Not gonna lie, it uh, didn't turn out super great. I think they photograph better than they look. Uh, my mom later reupholstered this one right here. It was probably about a year and a half ago, and it looked awesome. But then our cats tore it up, like terribly, terribly tore it up. Sorry, mom. So I told her not to worry about reupholstering this one yet because I didn't want it to get destroyed. So in the future sometime, we'll probably get them both reupholstered. But for now, I keep these furry rugs up here to kind of disguise them and prevent the cats from tearing them up further. So there's that. But... Let's go ahead and move over to the slide out. All right, so here we are in the living room slide out area, which is where the dining booth used to be located. Now we bought this specific RV because we wanted one where the dining booth was located across from the sofa so that we could actually recreate it and put a television here. So that's actually one of the reasons why we really liked this floor plan. So what we did was we took the dining booth out and there were also cabinets up here that we took out, which some people would freak out and be like, why are you getting rid of the storage? To be honest, we do not miss it at all. We were happy to get rid of some of that extra weight, but also Eric wanted the biggest TV that could fit here. So the cabinets needed to go. So we now have a TV on a lift, which is really awesome. And we have a fireplace that we put in, which is electric but it's nice because we don't always have to have the heat. We can just have it for ambiance. And then this right here pulls out into a nice long table or a desk, which is pretty awesome. It's actually telescoping legs that come out pretty far. So sometimes we will use, well, what we use is there's three different table leaves that connect together. So we can actually have it using all three or sometimes we'll only use two, but um. It's pretty nice and handy to have that. Now in here, this is where we pretty much keep printer and camera kind of accessories. And then on this one over here, we have some notebooks, our teapot, and some games and some other random storage, pet supplies. So that's that. Now I do want to mention these little like 
flame flickering lights. These are actually like kind of cheesy, but I really love them. They look kind of ridiculous on their own. I have them Velcroed so when we travel. But um, there's actually different settings that you can put them on. I like the little flame that it has. These also have a remote, which I'll show you in a second. But since they look kind of cheesy, got this tin from um, Home Depot or I think it was Hobby Lobby and um, painted it black. Just goes, oh, another thing that's kind of neat though is you can take these outside. They have like, you can hang them this way and they don't require batteries. They actually are USB charged, which is really awesome. So that, that. Um, over here, I have one of my favorite prints and it's nothing like super beautiful or anything, but it's a photograph of Kybers. Now, if you've ever been to Lake Tahoe or driven through it, you may have driven through a very small town and there's a sign and it says, welcome to Kybers, now leaving Kybers. And it's really funny. I don't know. I crack up every time we would pass it, but um, I, <laughs> I have it up here because one, it makes me laugh, but also I just think it's a great reminder that everything is temporary. So I have that up there. Um, our fridge, we took out the wood panels that were here and we replaced them with some um, sheet metal that is magnetic, which is nice. And we can also write on it, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's that section. And oh, our slide out trim, which is like, oh, I just love it. We replaced the trim that was up here with this hand hewn wood from the 1800s. And I just love the character. It's, um, I just love it. I love adding wood like this that just creates more history and story into the RV. So there's that. But let's walk over to the sofa. All right, so previously there was a sofa bed in here, which we sold and then built this custom sofa, mainly because at the time we were having trouble finding something the dimensions that we needed that also had storage underneath. There's a lot more options these days, but I'm really happy with the way it should turn out. Um, we actually have storage underneath, which I won't be able to open because of this, this guy right here. Um, we also built some storage back here, which is where we originally planned to keep the table leaves stored, but honestly it became inconvenient. So we store them right here instead. But our cats love sitting up there, looking out the window. McNally loves sitting here, looking out the window. So it has definitely come in handy. One thing that I would change looking back is I do wish that we would have actually made it where this comes out and it could be turned into a bed. Originally, we didn't think we needed that um, because we didn't figure anyone would really be staying over, but it would be nice to be able to kind of lounge out here, kind of like a little slumber party with the uh, TV. So I do wish we would have done that. And then one other kind of side note thing is, so my mom actually upholstered these cushions and I kind of created the design of it. And I wish that I would have had these go on top of this because then this bottom part could have gone all the way across and it would have given us more space to actually lay down. I'm short, so I always fit on it anyway, but that would have been a better design decision. But you know, live and learn. All right, I do have this remote right here, which actually controls the lights over here and the ones all over there. It also controls the candles that I showed you earlier, the little flamey things over there, which is pretty nice and handy. So I keep that there. Now, what else? Oh, the light fixtures. We did custom make these. Um, there's a few different ones that we created throughout the RV. And we also framed out our windows that you might notice and created these custom burlap roller shades. Now with these burlap roller shades, we essentially added burlap material to the older roller shade mechanisms that we had. And I love the color and I love the texture, but they do kind of shed a little bit sometimes when I like roll them up and down. I don't mind too much because I'm used to vacuuming since we have the furry babies. And um, you'll probably notice there's fur on the sofa despite us vacuuming just before filming this. <laughs> but um, just something to keep in mind if you decide to make your own and to add burlap to there. Um, all right, now these poofs over here, I've gone back and forth with using a folding coffee table, um, which we actually do have stored back there and these poofs. Now, I love these poofs for a few different reasons. Um, you can actually fill them up with whatever you want. So originally I had them filled up with blankets and extra pillows and seasonal clothes, but to be honest, they were like getting pretty heavy and kind of annoying to move around. 
And on top of that, whenever I wanted to get something out, I had to like dig through it. So that became inconvenient and I just don't like things that are super inconvenient like that. So my mom had some extra polyfill from when we actually I think did the back cushions. So I ended up filling them up with those, which is awesome because now they're super lightweight. And on top of that, the pets love to lay on them. Even McNally though is a bit big. And it's also nice because we can sit down and pop up our feet, which is fantastic. Or we, if I'm like reading a book or something, I can leave it here and it's great. So yeah, they're really useful and light and easy to move out of the way if we need to. So I really like them. But let's go over to the kitchen. So here we are in our tiny kitchen and what we did in here is we replaced the lower kitchen cabinets with this recleaned um, wood that we got up in the Pacific Northwest and we painted the, um, the framing black and we also um, the countertops we used wood flooring that we then stained black and as for the uppers we just painted them white added new hardware the sink, we had a double basin sink and I really wanted a single and I actually found that one on eBay for like $20, which was a really great find. Um, let's see, let's see what else is going on in here. Oh, our convection oven microwave combo. What's really funny is we almost didn't get this RV because it didn't have an oven and we had never used a convection oven before. So we thought about either not getting this RV or maybe tearing this out and actually installing an oven. But I'm so glad we didn't do that because the convection oven has worked awesome for the last four years. We don't use the microwave, but we do store our like cast iron skillet and pans in here. I'm not going to open it because, true confession, it's super dirty and I didn't clean it first before recording this. So, yeah. But, um, so that's that. Now, over here, this is where we keep our food and um, oven mitts. And... Have some more food stuff back there. So we're keeping canned goods. This is our um, <clears throat> French press and some cups. And down here is where we keep our trash can, some like foil and stuff over here in our um, dehumidifier. And over here, this is extra sponge, kitchen towels, and stuff. This is our trash bags tension rods for when we're traveling and it's also where we keep the shelf liner for stuff when we're traveling to keep it secure this is where we keep all of our spices which is really handy i love having them all here and i love the labels that i have the labels up there and in here i'm actually going to have um will be in our shop if you want to download them and down here this is our storage containers over here so this is where we keep our utensils and this is where we keep our plates and bowls and down here is where we keep our soup pan colander it's also where we store that pan when um, we're leaving and we actually put the cups back up in here and this stuff in here when we take off um all right so that's pretty much it for the kitchen now over here we do have a little bag market tote that I hang and we can put vegetables, fruit. Right now we just have some potatoes in here. And we have some plants that are actually alive right now. So we better get this before any of them die. Um, this one's not looking so good. All right, and if you'll mosey on down the hallway, our pet feeding station is down there. And we actually have some cleaning supplies over here on this bar, which is nice and handy. Um, we created this sliding barn door here. Um, the door that was previously here used to open out and kind of took up a lot of space, so we made this um, nice. And we have this super awesome handmade broom. I believe I got it from the American Broom Shop on Etsy. I love this broom. It's so beautiful. Sweeping is so much fun. Who knew? Um, all right, so let's go into the bathroom. So this is our super tiny bathroom, which is actually one of my favorite places in the RV, which sounds kind of weird, but it's because there's just so much character in here. Um, 
this countertop for one actually came from the wedding venue that we were married at the owner gave it to us it's oak from I believe like the 1800s and Eric created a live edge on it and it's just so so pretty we have a copper sink which is kind of a pain in the butt to keep clean but I love the patina on it and let's see what else what else painted this um, lower section here and uh, one of my favorite parts of this bathroom is actually this door right here this used to be a cabinet right here um, but we decided to actually create this we actually rebuilt the whole thing because we needed a place to store the litter box and that's where we put it and then we built this door using some of this old corrugated tin that we got off Eric's family's farm which I freaking love and um, inside here we have some laundry stuff and some cleaning stuff extra toilet paper paper towels we actually um, keep the litter box down there and so that's that oh and there is a door at the lower end that actually opens up into our bedroom area so the cats can go in and out through that door although most of the time they do this open this up and go through here which is kind of funny so over here we have um just some storage a shelf that we made using some of the reclaimed wood that the owner at the the wedding venue also gave us um, which is pretty cool and then some horseshoes um just kind of store some some different things right here and that's pretty much it for the bathroom all right so one thing i do wish that we would have done in the rv is uh actually redo the shower we originally planned to do it and then we just didn't have time before we left and wasn't a huge priority because it was in decent condition but someday i'd like to redo it but anyways let's go into the bedroom Welcome to our bedroom where the magic happens and by magic I mean where two humans, two cats, and a dog fit onto this short queen bed. It's magical. But um, no, so here we are in the bedroom and we added this map here which it's kind of cool. We actually pinned out the places we've been, added some lights to it which is just kind of fun and it adds a little bit of ambiance. We redid these cabinet doors. This is actually the TV that was up front that I was talking about. This is the one we moved back here because it was a little bit bigger. And we also replaced the slide out here with some reclaimed wood, again, from the wedding venue that we got. That was pretty awesome. All right, so another thing that's nice is we do have some storage here under the bed. Um, blankets, pillows, whatever. And, um, we did create some mason jar lights. We do have dimmers on those. We have dimmers on a lot of lights just because it creates more ambiance, makes the lighting softer if we want to. And obviously painted the cabinets, made it a lot brighter in here. And I also have this super awesome desk that is modular. And what's great about it is that I can actually make it work three different ways. So it's the way that it is right now. Um, I have another piece that actually um, clips on up here and I have a piece that's right here that can be added or removed. So if I need more space, if I'm working at my actual desktop computer, it works awesome. Um, we did add some more reclaimed wood over on this side and an awesome oil painting I found at an antique shop. So that's pretty much it for the bedroom. So that about wraps up our RV tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna answer one question that I'll probably get, which is how do we, or what do we do with everything when we pack up? And it's actually not too bad. It maybe takes 10 minutes to pack up all of our loose decor. Um, a lot of the items we have in here are secured. So anything on the walls, it's secured, um, including the plants. Um, it's either secured with nail screws, Velcro, or Quake Hold. Um, including this up over here. This is actually quite holded down, so we don't have to worry about it. And like the plants up here, they're fine. Um, the stuff in the kitchen, we actually just take it off the hooks and either put it in the cabinets or in the drawers. And same with the stuff in here, it either goes to cabinets, drawers, although we do put some of like the loose plants or anything else like up in this sink, or we can use a collapsible basket or bin and put extra stuff in there. And for a while we were putting the big plant in the shower, but we can also just leave it where it is. Um, 
but if we want it out of the way and just to make sure it doesn't get moved around, we can just put that in the shower, so no biggie, and that's about it, so it's really not too bad. Um, now, I will say that if you are looking for more photos or information about our RV renovation, you can check that out on our website, and we also include features of other RVers who have renovated their RV, so if you're looking for more RV inspiration, definitely check out that series, but other than that, Hope you had a good time in here and uh, thanks for swinging by. I think it's time to go ahead and um, take a hike. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> That's definitely the one we're using. Yes, yeah, like it's I tried to be forceful like you want. <laughs> Maybe I'll be like right here. No, it's fine. I'll get out of the way. Alright, let's go to the bedroom. Walk out. Wait, Walk so out. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It means Bye. <laughs> but that about wraps it up. And The cab area. So one of the. Okay, I'm just gonna. That was a long journey. I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> booth section. And when we bought this RV, this when we bought this RV. One of the projects we tackled in here was actually removing the t the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I will answer one question that you. Blah, 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 and this used to be the dining booth area, 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 area. Just... Here we are in the living room slide out area, which used to be where the the binding booth. <laughs> but you know, live and learn. I do have. A... <laughs> oh, up here. This is actually where we keep our food. It's honestly the first time that's, that's ever happened. happened. <laughs> it's the first time that's ever happened. This is over here. We keep our trash can under here and our, um, apparently some crap. But also, oh. Come on in. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to move. Is that better? Like, come on in. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> come on. Come on. Get in here. Go on, get. Go on, go on, get. <laughs>